we've probably worked with, you know, six or seven different agencies across multiple businesses over the past about 10 years, and almost every single one of them has been a complete disaster. Now, I don't want to blame that on them completely because a lot of it's on us too. See, the problem is that when you have a new business that's growing and maybe advertising isn't really your thing or you feel like you're running out of time and you want to just hand your advertising off to somebody else, you think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hire an agency. They're going to crank this thing. They're going to make me profit. They're going to help scale this thing and I'm going to go live on a beach somewhere. Problem is, is it usually doesn't work like that. I think the first reason that it usually becomes a problem is you try to hand them something that's completely unproven. Where we've made the most mistakes in hiring agencies is we didn't really have the sales funnel dialed in. And so we just handed them a completely new thing or we were creating the sales funnel on, a, on the fly and then basically started working with them to start scaling ads at the same exact time. And what happens then is then we're telling them, A, your ads are not working, you're, you're not being a good agency. They're telling us, hey, your sales funnel suck and that's why this whole thing isn't working. The problem is, is you need both. And so what I found is the best way to make this work is to get your number, numbers dialed in first. This would, this would apply if you're advertising on Amazon, but especially if you're advertising you know, to stuff on your own website, you're running Facebook ads or Google AdWords or YouTube ads or any of that sort of stuff, I would recommend doing that your, yourself first for a couple reasons. First, it allows you to really dial in your numbers because ideally what you wanna do is you wanna prove out the numbers first. You wanna know how much it costs to, to get a click, to get an impression, to get a lead, to acquire a customer. You wanna know all that stuff before you hire an agency. So then when you hire an agency, you know that their job is just to scale it and make it better, not to sort of create magic out of nothing. So I recommend figuring it out yourself first. It means you're going to have to learn a little bit about the advertising platforms, which to me is really the second benefit. I don't think you want to be hiring an agency to do something you have no idea what's going on because you're not going to know if they're doing a good job or not. Maybe they come from a referral or something, but there's no guarantee there either. They may be really good at advertising health supplements, for example, but they're terrible at advertising kitchen products. You never know. And so I would recommend learning it yourself first. You don't have to be the world's greatest expert. You know, I would recommend uh, just going through the basics, going through a few different courses on whatever ad channel it is that you want to hire somebody for. Run those ads yourself. Just do a very basic approach. Run the ads yourself. Really know your numbers. And another big benefit of this too is being able to dial in your tracking. I've seen more of this stuff fail when the tracking is not good, so you're better off sorting that out on your own dime rather than spending, you know, a lot of times these agencies are going to have a four, or $5,000, $10,000 a month minimum, and so you're going to be paying them that amount of money while your tracking is broken. Once again, terrible use of money, terrible use of time. Figure your tracking, figure the ad channel, figure your numbers out first, then go hire an agency. And when we've done that, that's when we've seen the real magic happen. Uh, we have a, an agency that works for a new e-commerce business, and I was actually working with, he's a friend of mine, but I was working with him for a couple months, tweaking our ads, making sure our tracking was going, and there was at one point the tracking was completely wrong, and I'm glad we figured that out before we started paying him thousands and thousands of dollars a month to manage our ads. So we really dialed that in, and then we hired him. When the results were consistent, but they weren't as good as what we wanted, but they were consistent and we knew he could make them better, that's when we hired him to really scale things up and it's worked incredibly well. Incredibly well, Because where the agencies really have value is in scale. Because whenever you're running ads, you just maybe have like one audience and then a handful of campaigns you're managing, not a big deal. But when you start pushing volume and you need tons of creative because of uh, the burnout that happens when you're, when you're advertising a lot, when you need tons of creative or you need to test tons of different audiences and that sort of thing, that's where agencies can really help because they can help you scale that stuff where that's, you know, essentially becomes like a full-time job and is probably not how you want to spend the rest of your life. But that's what they do and that's what they do great. So if you were to ask me, should you hire an agency? I would say first, have you proven the funnel out yourself? run the ads yourself, and you're producing consistent results. If not, don't hire an agency. Get that piece first, otherwise you're going to waste a lot of money. If you have done that, then fantastic. Hire an agency and watch them like a hawk. It's your money they're going to be spending, and most of them are just going to be getting a percentage of ad spend, which means that you know the good and the bad are going to be incentivized just to spend more money. Now, the good agencies will be respectful of that and will not try to waste your money, but everyone's going to want to spend more money, so you want to make sure you're watching them like crazy. So hopefully this helps. An agency can provide a lot of good things for your business, but only if you do it at the right time. If you found this video helpful, then go ahead and like it below, but more importantly, subscribe to our channel because we're going to be putting out a whole lot more content that's going to help you become financially successful 
and build a successful e-commerce business. So hope to see you in the next video.